What's up everyone? Welcome back. I'm Natalie and this is episode 23 of the Wind Waker series. How's everybody doing? Hope you guys are all doing well. Hope your weather's nice and fresh. And thank you for joining me in this video. Hope you guys enjoy. I just want to thank you guys for all the support. You guys have been super, super awesome and amazing. And I really appreciate each and every one of the support. If you guys haven't already, be sure to check out the last video. And make sure you watch all the way through until the end. Because that would be such a great help and support. And you could also get caught up with what we've done. And it would just, like I said, be a great support and huge help. And I would really, really appreciate it if you guys did. Let's go ahead and get started with this video so in this video i'm planning on i think i said it last video i think i'm gonna be doing the korok trees the little quest that we have to do we have to go water eight korok trees it's gonna be a timed quest and we gotta do it in about 20 minutes before the forest water turns back into normal water also another thing that i want to squeeze in in today's video is there's this little guy here in um Force Haven and he takes these little things right here he takes the Boko Baba seeds and he uses them to I think make potions or whatever so we're gonna do that just to get out of the way and kind of complete it too as well oops and that shouldn't take too long to do I think we have enough of the seeds that we need for him to be able to make those potions so we're gonna check that out first and then we will continue and finish off the episode with the quest to water all the trees hopefully we get it on the first run because um i really don't want to have to do this more than at least three times if i have to go past three times i think i'm gonna cry because like i said i'm trying to just finish this up get it out of the way you know because we need to go find the triforce shards and we just need to finish the game already and then like I said, uh, I'm going to do a separate video dedicated to the pictographs and we're going to show what happens when you get all the pictographs and figurines in the Nintendo gallery. So let's get started with that. The little guy that I'm talking about, the little Korok, he's all the way over here and he has like a little, little room. So if you go past this, I think it's up here. Yes, to the right right here. Here he is. Look at him wobble all the way to me. <laughs> he looks so cute. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk to him. Do you not want to? Okay, there you go. I didn't think he wanted to speak to me. Swordsman, thank you so much for bringing Makar back to us. I am hollow. I make potions from the fruits of the forest. I wish I could create a potion that would help you, Swordsman. But the ones I have here only seem to work on my fellow Koroks. I know. If you can somehow gain magic power, swordsman, then you will surely need a potion that can replenish it. Then, if I could get the right ingredients, I might be able to make a potion for you. Oh, but I haven't seen the ingredients that help recover magic power here in the forest. If I had seeds from the flower monsters in the forbidden woods, then maybe I could make a potion for you. Do you know about those seeds? Okay, so here we go. Let's show it to him. I think we need a lot of these, so I have 50 over 50, so hopefully that's enough. Oh, that's that's a Boko Baba seed. That's it. That's what I need to make the kind of super replenishing potion that would help you, swordsman. Oh, but I can't give you any potion if you don't have an empty bottle to carry it in. I'm sorry. Okay, so let's go ahead and empty out a bottle just so we could see and he could just take it and we, you know. Maybe this isn't like the potion shop store in Windfall where... You know, you give that guy the chew jellies and then he has it for sale after that once he makes it. Um, but we'll find out right now. So let's go ahead and give this to him. Yeah, he's going to make it. It's so cute. Uh... <laughs> I'm not going to try to pronounce that. That's going to be like... I'm definitely going to mispronounce that. But he's so cute, isn't he? And I think you get this for free. As long as you give him the seeds that he requires to make the potion, you can get magic potion for free. It's ready. Here you go. Yeah, so we go... Oh! Oh, he gives us the blue potion. Oh, I don't remember that. So... Yeah, okay, so we could replenish life energy and magic power. Oh, this is going to be so good. Come see me again after you gather more seeds. Oh, I'll be waiting. How many did he take? 
He didn't take that many. He did he only take one? I had over fifty. I don't know how exactly how many I had. Maybe he took two. I think I had fifty six. But oh, that's so cool. Oh, I definitely recommend that you guys get that because yeah, no, that is definitely good, and you don't have to pay for it either. So definitely, definitely recommend that. So now we're gonna come talk to the Deku Tree. How are things in the world, Link? As you can see, I am slowly growing older and feebler. It seems only my wisdom is full of vigor lately, but this is just the way of life, child, and not cause for sadness. If there is anything you wish to know, just ask. I will aid you as I may. What do you wish to learn about? Um, uh, the Koroks. What do you wish to learn about? The island Koroks? Are you concerned about the little Koroks who left the safety of our forest haven? It is indeed true that there are many islands on the Great Sea that have grown dark and dangerous. Who knows what perils might await my children? I shall mark the places that my Korok children have journeyed to on your sea chart link. Could you be so kind as to check on them for me as you proceed with your quest? I entrust their care to you. Is there anything else you wish to ask? What do you wish to learn about? I think that's it. So he marks the thing on our map so if we pull up our maps you could see the little leaves it's the, very subtle i mean on the screen on my tv screen it's very subtle but once you look at the video like where i'm recording it actually pops out a lot more so hopefully you guys are able to see it pretty well but there's one two three four five six and seven did i count that right yeah, there's seven. There's only seven? I'm confused. Oh, there is eight. There's one right here on Greyfish Isle. You can barely see it, though, because of the the little island is covering it. Oh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. So, the route that we need to take is going to start out like this. We're already at Forest Haven, okay? So, we got to get as close to the exit of Forest Haven as possible, get the water, then immediately we are going to go east to cliff plateau isles then from there we are going to go to shark isle which is right here or not isle but island so we're going to warp to southern fairy island and then from there we're going to go west to shark island and then from there we're going to warp immediately to grayfish isle from grayfish isle we are going to sail southwest to needle rock isle then from there, we're going to warp to the Tower of the Gods. And from there, we're going to go south to Private Oasis. Then we're going to warp again to Tower of the Gods. This time, we're going to head north. From there, we are going to warp to Tingle Island, which is right here. Sail northwest to Mother and Child Isles. Then from there, we are going to finish off at Star Island. So hopefully, wish me luck, we can get this on the first go. Let's go ahead and get started.
Yeah? So we made it. We made it, we made it, we made it. On the first try, too. Woohoo! And there's our heart piece. All right, now we have another heart container added to our heart gauge. We are missing five more heart pieces or heart containers to fill up the whole heart gauge. Unless they did a whole Skyward Sword, Breath of the Wild type of deal where they're just like, yeah, you don't actually get all 24 heart pieces. You just get like 23. But um, yeah, that's going to end it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope it came as a help to you guys. I hope that like if you guys are trying it and going by the route that I took, hopefully it's really efficient for you and that you're able to get it on the first try because I know how much of a pain and a drag it is to do this little quest. But you know, we managed to get on the first try and I don't know how much time we had remaining left, but you know, we we did it and that's all that matters. And I'm so glad that we did. So thank you guys for watching again. And once again, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, your night, wherever you guys are. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye.